Forget filet mignon. Trash that T-bone. Want a steak that's dripping with flavor but light on your wallet? Watch this. Flap, or bavette steak, has earned the nickname of the butcher's secret because it is lesser known, less ordered, and often saved by a butcher for themselves. Flap steak is cut from the abdomen of the steer in the bottom sirloin. This is the same general region where flank and skirt steak are cut from, but flap cuts have a better muscle-to-fat ratio and are therefore juicier and more flavorful than similar alternatives. Unlike some lower-cost cuts of steak, flap steak has a medium to high fat content, so that it can be cooked the same as more expensive, fattier cuts. Its robust, beefy flavor allows it to stand up to seasonings, and it's great for slicing into pieces and tossing in a steak salad or filling tortillas. The eye of round cut is one of the leanest cuts of steak out there. What determines a cut's leanness or fattiness is how much exercise the muscle gets. The eye of round is cut from the rump of the cow, one of the most commonly exercised regions. Therefore, it has little to no fat on it. That does not mean it can't be flavorful, however. What this cut lacks in beefiness can be made up for with marinades and the right cooking technique. Lower fat content translates to a lower temperature and slow cooking time. Eye of Round is perfect for the pressure cooker or braising in the oven for hours on end. This cut makes a great stew and is also a great option for slicing thin and fixing up a steak sandwich. Plus, the Eye of Round is one of the least expensive cuts of steak on the market and is readily available at both butcher shops and supermarkets. Although this cut is not as fancy or luxurious as higher-priced cuts, its potential for tastiness is nothing to ignore. The flat iron is cut from the shoulder of the cow. This region, known as the chuck, has a higher amount of fat and is therefore more tender and flavorful, but that does correlate to a higher price tag. Cuts from the chuck, while more tender, remain a cheaper alternative to other well-marbled steaks. The flat iron in particular came around in 2002, when the National Cattlemen's Beef Association went on the hunt for more types of steak to get people to buy more beef. The flat iron steak is an excellent example of one success that was developed as a result of beef checkoff funded research. Flat iron steaks are available in a rectangular shape and are now more commonly available at supermarkets. Even if your local grocery store doesn't have flat iron steak, a good quality butcher shop will. Flat irons are an excellent vehicle for marinades and, due to the evenly marbled fat, can be cooked to virtually any liking without sacrificing tenderness or taste. If you normally reach for flank on steak night, give flat iron a try. Chances are you won't look back. Tri-tip is found at the triangular tip of the bottom sirloin. Because there are two tri-tips per cow, it is typically a less expensive option than other larger cuts similar in size. The bottom sirloin is generally a more muscly region of the steer, but the end from which the tri-tip is cut typically contains some fat. This fat content is not high, so cooking tri-tip properly is important in getting a tasty result. Usually, leaner cuts do not stand up to high heat very well, but tri-tip is actually perfect for the grill. The lack of flavorful fat on the cut can be made up for with smokiness, and the intense, confined heat of a grill will make for a crusty exterior. It is recommended not to cook tri-tip past a medium interior, but once it is cooked through, this bigger cut of steak can be sliced for optimal portion control. Like Bavette, tri-tip is great in any dish that requires slight Iced steak and is excellent when marinated. Flank steak is often compared to skirt steak. The two cuts share some similarities, but flank steak remains a cheaper option. Both skirt and flank steak are cut from the cow's abdomen. Skirt steak is cut from the portion of the cow known as the plate primal, which is just below the ribs. Flank steak is cut just behind the skirt, ranging from the ribs to the hip. This area of the cow gets a lot of exercise, so the fat content is typically on the lower side. However, flank steak can be made delicious by cooking it at a very high heat, browning the outside, and keeping the inside a juicy medium rare. Flank steak is ideal for beef kebabs, as the toughness of the cut can be avoided by making the steak bite size. Plus, you can tenderize the cut ahead of time and marinate extensively. The most important method required for flank steak, however, is how you cut it. 
flank steak has thick muscle fibers running parallel from end to end. If you cut along these fibers, the meat will become stringy and chewy. Instead, cut across the grain of the muscle to keep the meat intact and enhance its tenderness. As a bonus, flank steak is readily available and a bargain cut that will always satisfy your red meat craving. As previously stated, the sirloin is divided into top and bottom portions. The top sirloin is a more fatty, flavorful cut and thus more expensive. The bottom sirloin, which contains the tri-tip, also includes the sirloin tip. This is cut from the outer edge of the sirloin against the round. The sirloin tip is the most tender of the round cuts, but it must be cooked properly to protect its tenderness. The best way to cook a sirloin tip is to roast it in the oven. This cut is very thick in width, a shape that does not cater to high heat on the stovetop or grill. Instead, roasting your sirloin tip at a lower temperature for a long period of time until it comes up to a more precise temperature will yield the best results. Blade steak, or top blade steak, is butchered from the beef chuck into cross sections with a line of gristle. This line of gristle running through the middle of top blade steaks is what normally turns people away. Ew! Now he's eating the gristle! But surprisingly, the meat surrounding the tough cartilage is anything but chewy. Like many cuts in the chuck, the meat on a top blade cut is well marbled and buttery in flavor, so the obstacle of eating around the gristle should actually be looked at as a positive, since it correlates to a lesser price point. Unlike flat iron, achieving the right interior doneness is a more temperamental task. Top blade steak should be cooked no further than medium to keep the juicy meat surrounding the gristle from toughening up. When buying steak on a budget, it's important to get the best out of it. The top blade is no exception. You've saved some extra money going with this cut, and it will be delicious as long as it's cooked properly. Denver steak has a fascinating background, since it was only discovered as an existing cut of steak just over a decade ago. In 2009, the Cattlemen's Beef Board issued the task of finding another cut of steak from the chuck roll. The common chuck steaks from that region at the time were top blade and flat iron, but this new cut was discovered as an even more flavorful option below the blade. This area, deeper inside the cow's shoulder, is exercised even less than the blade, resulting in more or fat marbling despite having no fat cap. The Denver steak is a hidden gem that is now a delicious, inexpensive alternative. They are harder to find, however, most likely only available at an experienced butcher shop. Of the cuts on this list, Denver steaks will cost a few more dollars than their counterparts, but the extra money will be worth it. The ribeye steak is the undisputed king of the steakhouse. It's beautifully marbled, deliciously succulent, and a good cut costs a lot. A heck of a lot. Luckily, the chuck eye is available to give you everything you love about the ribeye at a fraction of the cost. This unsung steak hero is cut directly adjacent to the ribeye on the other side of the rib, at the beginning of the chuck primal. Basically, the chuck eye is a continuation of the ribeye. Where ribeyes are cut from the 6th to the 12th rib, the chuck eye is cut from the 5th. As with many highly marbled steaks, the chuck eye is cut from the deepest part of the shoulder. All the fat found on the rib cage that gives the ribeye its status and gravitas is also found on the chuck eye. That grandeur is translated into a pricier purchase, but the chuck eye is just as juicy and versatile without breaking your budget. Cube steaks are versatile, inexpensive, and when cooked the right way, very delicious. The name derives from the marks left behind after the steak is run through a mechanical tenderizer. These cuts can come from either the top or bottom round portion of the steer, which means they have very little fat on them and are not naturally tender. One of the best ways to utilize cube steaks is by cooking them slowly over a long period of time. This will allow the muscle fibers to relax and separate more easily as opposed to tightening up, which would happen if cooked fast over high heat. Cube steaks are a great option for making a slow-cooked dish like a beef stew. Not only do they not cost much money, but they can also easily be cut into smaller pieces to whatever size you need. But cube steak is perhaps most notable as the cut of choice for chicken fried steak. To make this classic dish, which is a particular favorite in Texas, a whole cube steak is dredged and deep fried in oil. And even this Texas favorite. 
Chicken fried steak. Big here? Very big here. Although this cooking method, which is familiar to anyone who has prepared fried chicken, is not low and slow, it is a very forgiving recipe because of the copious addition of gravy. While picanha is slowly emerging as a cult favorite cut in the United States, it's long been massively popular in Brazil. Picanha comes from the sirloin cap, which means it has a beautiful piece of fat that runs along an entire side of the steak. This well-marbled cut is best cooked with a quick, hard sear and is the perfect steak for the grill. Throw down a slab or cut the steak into bite-sized pieces along the fat cap, place the cubes on skewers, and grill up some kebabs. If you're unable to track down picanha to cook at home, there are a number of Brazilian steakhouses across the US that feature the steak as the main attraction. If you love filet mignon, this alternative, known as Terrace Major, will allow you to indulge in beefy bliss more often than just special occasions. Another steak cut from the chuck, the Terrace Major, like Bavette steak, is also referred to as a butcher's cut because it takes an expert butcher to cut it properly. Once you get your hands on one, however, it can be prepared and enjoyed just like filet mignon. Terrace Major comes from the muscle connecting the cow's shoulder blade to the front of the shoulder. There is an excess of fat in this area, and an experienced butcher can get the right balance between muscle and fat when cutting the Terrace Major. Call your local butcher and find out if they can have Terrace Major available. It could be the cut of steak that makes the holidays or special occasions more financially manageable without sacrificing the celebration.